What is up, YouTubers, kayakers, DIYers? I wanted to show you this inexpensive DIY kayak pulley system I put together. Um, so thanks for tuning in, and let's go through it. So first off, this is a Harbor Freight bike pulley system. Um, I think it costs about 9 bucks without a coupon. So get 20% off that. The uh, This rope here is not the rope that comes with the kit. It's a little heavier duty. Also something I bought at Harbor Freight for about 7 bucks without a coupon. Um, and then besides that, everything else was stuff I had around. So you can do this really cheap. Um, but let's walk through it. So first, these orange straps. These are something I just had laying around. It is a four, what is it called? A forearm forklift to move furniture and stuff. I rarely use them. So I, I, I just pulled those out. You can use any kind of rope you may have extra. But important thing, this right here, this, this rubber. This is kind of like drawer liner that you would see in your kitchen cabinets and stuff or maybe your shop toolbox. That rubber keeps this strap from sliding. So I, I didn't use this before and this would slide off and eventually every once in a while my kayak would fall. So not a good thing. I hot glued it right here and I haven't had any issues with that since. But let me show you exactly how this comes down here. So this cleat I have a ton of extra rope this was only half of what came in that kit uh, not the kit but the rope from Harbor Freight was 100 feet I think I have about 50 here but this cleat was included as the bike pulley kit um, so here I'll show you me lowering it it's easier with two hands for sure so there's nothing fancy about this pulley it is a, just a one-to-one -one. you're not gonna get any extra weight distribution or anything um this kayak is about 40 to 50 pounds uh, all right there we go all right so this is the pulley system I just have this this rope because it was sliding. This was something I had added to try and prevent that, but it, the rubber thing ended up being what worked. So we got it up there. I'll I'll show you that in detail. Just want to show you this real quick. These arms right here, I bent them kind of to a, a V or a U. They used to just run at a 90 degree angle, and it, these are. Uh, these straps would slide off so that that was the only thing I, I changed to this I bent those on both sides all four those little hooks so let me show you what I did up top here all right so we're up here in the rafters of the floor in the basement in the garage so this is a two by eight that I I cut so basically I screwed this actually before putting it up there I screwed this top long piece to these pieces and I also screwed the pulley in to that the big uh, 2 by 8 and then I put it up here and then I screwed on on both sides just into the floor rafters to hold it in so th this is in place same thing with the other side same exact idea screwed this long piece into these pieces then I placed it all up there and then I screwed into the floor rafters. So pretty simple. Let me show you how the uh, rope goes through the pulleys. All right, so the way this works, you can see that rope is tied right there. So tie that on, follow the rope down, come through this pulley right here, you come straight back up through the top pulley, bring it on over, that'll go through the first pulley, and then the string will come over here. So you got two separate ropes. Starting on this side, we got it tied up right here, and then you're going to come, come on down, rope comes down. 
through the pulley, comes back up the pulley, and then it goes through the single, the front pulley, and, and out to the cleat. So you got two different ropes controlling each side. All right, so last thing that there is to show you is the way this thing goes up. So I've got my ropes here. I've got both both sides. I got one, I got two. Just pull them up together. Uh, like I said, it's one to one. So it doesn't make it super easy, especially if you've got a 90 pound kayak. But pull it up as much as it'll go. Wrap it up here on your cleat, whatever kind of knot you want to use. And that's it. So this sits about maybe six, six off the floor, six foot, six inches. I'm um, just under six feet. So that's it. It leaves a ton of room in your garage. You can see I got another one there. I don't know that I have room up here with all my ducks and stuff to set up another one. But now I have room for all this garbage. And uh, I can just keep piling up. That's great. <laughs> but uh, seriously, it does save a lot of room. Um, keeps it out of the way. I can stack stuff up here. My kayak seat, fishing tackle, whatever. And uh, just makes life a little bit easier. So I hope that helped. It only costs about 15 bucks. Uh, way cheaper than anything else I could find online. So thanks again. If you like it, thumbs up. If you don't like it, whatever. <laughs> but uh, if you got any questions, leave a comment down below. Thanks for watching.